Okay, my guess. Essentially, we want to draw the Lewis structure for I5 minus. Whenever you do a starch titration, you use I5 minus. And they tell you, you know you're going to get the right answer because it's going to look like a V. If it doesn't look like a V, you drew the wrong Lewis structure, okay? Because this one could have a couple Lewis structures, so we're giving you a hint that it looks like a V. So I5 minus. So let's try this. I5 minus. And we're going to do the full Lewis. We're going to do everything. So we'll do shape, electronic shape. We'll do uh, uh, molecular geometry. We'll do hybridization, bond angles, polarity, everything. Okay? What's that? Ah, all this for I5. Yeah, yeah. This would be like a full question. We'd ask you all this stuff. Okay, so I5 minus. First step, valence electrons. If you didn't know that, know it. Valence electrons is first. So 5 times a column of iodine, it's in column 7. See, it says 7A on the periodic table in Roman numerals. So 5 times 7 plus 1 because there's an I5 minus. So this is from that minus charge. That gives a total of 36. Okay, now the second step in any Lewis is to draw the skeleton, the, the major figure of it. What do you want this thing to look like? I know it has to look like a V, but should I draw this? Is that good? Why is this bad? There's no way this would look like a V. Is that okay? There's no way. Okay, don't draw that. Let's just put them all in line. We're going to hope it bends when we're done. We don't usually put it in a line, but that's what the question told us to do. You can't clump it up because there's no way it looks like a V. Usually in Lewis, you want to put them all clumped together. You would not do a line normally. But this is one of those that actually is a line. So what I do, watch what I do. I do the bonds first, 2, 4, 6, 8 of 36. So now I have 8 of 36 so far. Next thing I do is outer electrons, electrons on the outside. So that's 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 of 36, 16, 18, 20 of 36. So I've done 20 of the 36 possible electrons. Once I've done all terminal atoms, I move my way to the middle. Okay. I'm doing this so everything will have an octet. Okay, everything must have an octet. So, uh, I said I was at 20, right? Yeah, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, uh, 30, and uh, 32. Uh-oh. I have 32 of 36. Where am I going to put my other four electrons? Now you got to guess. Yeah. Okay. You want them both here? Okay, good, let's do that. Now, we're going to try this out, see if it's right. What, how many groups does that have right there, where my pen is? Four, four means what electronic shape? Tetrahedral, so this is tetrahedral electronically. What's the molecular geometry with two pairs of electrons? Two. Bent, that's bent. How about this one? Same. Now let's do the one in the middle. So we know that the ones, these two here are bent. How many groups? Six, that is, what electronic shape? Octahedral. If there's four lone pairs, it's gonna be linear. Okay, now you tell me, does that look like a V? No. Right, you said that's bent, that's bent, that's linear. You have an I here, I, 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 and I. That doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like a V to me. So that means we put those lone pairs in the wrong place. Is that okay? Now we're going to fix it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's okay if you don't care about your test score either. Okay. So let's rewrite it. Go back to where we were previously. 32 of 36.
Now let's think of this. I'm at 32 of 36. At this point, what should this shape be? We want it bent. Right now, is it bent? It's bent because it has how many groups? Four. So it's tetrahedral electronically. Its molecular geometry is bent. Leave as is. Don't mess it up. Okay, so those lone pairs have to go somewhere else. We're not going to put them on terminal atoms. So we're going to, I'll put one here and one here. I put, see where I put them? Now let's do that shape. How many groups? Five, so it is, electronically. Trigonal bipyramidal with three groups. Three, three groups that are lone pairs. Linear, yeah. So these are now linear, and it's going to look like a V. So th this is the shape. This is it. This is the answer. Okay? This is going to be bent, and these are going to be linear as far as their electronic, or rather, molecular geometry. This will look like a V.